Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 7 of Hunter Hunter today and it was really fun to meet uh, the phase 2 examiners, uh, Menchi and Buhara, I believe that's their names. Um, and uh, their test was quite something, so um, these participants had to create um, a good dish uh, for them, uh, but unfortunately all of them ended up failing, so that was a really big surprise and I didn't want to believe that um, the exam was going to end uh, there. Um, so yeah, that's when uh, the chairman appeared and found a solution to this, so uh, that was uh, really good to see uh, these guys getting um, a new opportunity, uh, and that's also because, um, like, um, Menchi was being uh, uh, overly strict, so uh, she also realized that, so she agreed um, about, um, like, there being uh, a new test, um, and that was a really dangerous one, I mean, they had to pick... Um, one of those uh, eggs and they were like hanging on those uh, spider webs um, and uh, like they had to jump and wait for uh, this um, this um, upstream or something for like for them to come back up so yeah that was really dangerous and uh, i believe a lot of people died there so that's even more uh, like um i don't know like really crazy i guess that's the best word to like for me to describe it um, but yeah, it's, um, it's going to be interesting to see what will happen now, since there's only 42 um, participants left. Um, and yeah, I was also curious about one of the scenes during that episode, when they were zooming on Menchi's um, opai. Um, I watched that um, again, just to be sure, uh, like, if I missed something. Um, and uh, I actually didn't notice that the chairman... Uh, while he was talking, he looked down for a while. That's when they zoomed in on um, her opai, and then uh, he raised his eyes. So, like, um, like it was just really funny to see that detail about him, how he was, like, uh, uh, being um, a bit of um, a pervert for a while. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, she has that, um, that outfit, and it's pretty easy um, to notice um, uh, that specific um, detail about her, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's also one thing that I really loved about her, her old design, not just um, like that part, of course, uh, but also like her hair and stuff. It's really different from what I'm used to, but uh, I found it um, really cool. Um, and yeah, I wonder if she's going to um, be appearing more often, since uh, uh, I'm not sure if this is the end of um, Phase 2 or not. Um, but yeah, just really can't wait to see what's going to happen now. So... With this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start this episode! And now it's becoming more obvious to me why... Usually only one only one person becomes a hunter every three years. This basically says everything. These these tests. I'm really loving the it's like a life lessons that they they add to this uh, story. I'm really loving those moments. Like in this previous episode, that guy... Realizing that no matter your... Like which kind of a hunter you are... You still need to... You can't like look down on others, like... Just because he doesn't like understand... That doesn't mean that these guys are, like, not good. So no matter which kind of under you are, they all put um, a lot of effort into this, and they need to work really hard to accomplish what they want. It's all about 
this determination. They need to have it. It's not just about cooking, I mean, getting the ingredients... Not for everyone. So this was the second phase. That aircraft though... It was shown before, but... Beans, <laughs> and it looks like a bean. I think. Hmm. To have a bit of free time. A good question. Five to six. Is he telling the truth, though? No? Oh, that's actually a good point. Just like before in, in that ship. It was not the start of the exam, but they were already being tested. Yeah, they need to be... Need to be, like... Alert. Can't just... Yeah, how much of that was true? I mean... He could be right about a lot of those things. Makes sense. It is really tricky, so... Hmm... <laughs> yep, that happened. Our sink. Which he talking about? Is it gone or Isoka? Two hundred. Oh. Thankfully, they show them. Can't memorize those na those numbers. Oh, forty four is Isoka. I remember that one because of the card they used. It was four, so I found it funny. Yeah, I saw the card with the... I don't know the name in English. Jack? Is that right? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that. And he got attacked.
Infinity for Darkness. Hmm. Okay then. Dressing. Joker. <laughs> what are they doing? Getting some food. City? Damn. Ooh. Assassins. Damn. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was more like... Normal person would be like, a bit afraid, I guess. But it's different, though. It's really curious about other things. Even. Hmm. He doesn't want to become an assassin. What the? And he's like laughing. Okay then. I was saying that like it was normal, like stabbing her mother's face or something and his brother. Crazy. Yeah, something happened, like was him, right? Definitely did something. And kill her nose. Yeah, they're not writing anything, it's all like field tests. Play game. This is reminds me of Saw. Hmm. Wonder what that game is about. Probably going to be a game that they can't win. Not expecting them to become hunters out of nowhere. The 
It'd be like dodgeball. Nine hours. It's not. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> if he's doing that, it's because he knows he can do it. I wonder... Is he actually doing this? Illusions? Damn, like an assassin! Rhythm Echo Damn, that's cool! No wonder his mother told him that could be a top assassin. Bam! <laughs> He's really agile for his age. I guess age is, ju is just a number. Yeah, that. Damn! It didn't budge? It's actually... It actually hurt him! I mean... What are his legs made of? Damn, this guy! I wonder... Oh, damn! Really? Man, that was almost so cool. <laughs> yeah, that was really awesome, but he hit the ceiling. He's really smart. Hmm, what is he up to now? <laughs> They're like... I love how all of this backfires on him. <laughs> So yeah, like, what you were saying could have been true. Like, the third phase could have already been happening. But... It's not scaring those guys. Both at the same time. It's really good. Then yeah, they need to find a way to trick him. Oh, oh, damn, he got it. 
Oh, this they didn't like to trick him. Oh, is he going to? It felt like he teleported before, so it's really fast. I'm talking about that scene before this, when Kilua was like wondering what that guy just did. Not like he just teleported. I don't know if it's that or not. I need to watch that scene again. Had a lot of time. Damn. <laughs> I really like this side of Kilua. Really funny. Oh, I like this. Setting like a different goal. Just to give him a reason to keep like working. This is good. He, like even if he can't get the ball, he can still like try to achieve something else. Hmm. He already uses it, so at this age. <laughs> he was like. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> Wondering if he was like lowering his guard. Holy... Damn! Just kill those guys! With his head though! Really? Probably not. I mean, those walls should be softer. Oh, but he used it to get these. He accomplished it. Like what he wanted. And he's instantly sleeping. <laughs> but that's admirable, and I'm sure he... He admires him f for that. Really? To spend more time with him? Yeah, these... Approach the site of the exam's third phase. So, I mean, what Tompa was saying before, like I said, 
it could be true, like the third phase could uh, be already happening, but uh, that's not the case. So he was like saying those things mostly to scare them off, Kurapika and uh, Leorio, but that completely failed. So, and now it's clear that while it could have been true, it's not happening. So. They're approaching the location to start this phase 3. Man, this episode... This chairman is really skilled, I mean... The moment he asked them... To play that game, I was sure that they wouldn't be able to... To complete it, I mean... He was literally telling them that if they won, they would become hunters instantly, so... That would have been too easy. But yeah, I love how they create like these situations. I, I I'm just never tired of saying this. It's it's really impressive how how gone, even though we understand that he's not going to be able to get the ball, he sets um like I don't know how to say this, but like he he sets a, a different goal for himself. So even if I'm not going to like, uh, be able to get that ball, I can at least make that guy use uh, his right hand, or his, um, I believe it was his left leg. So that was, um, it was really impressive to see him uh, once again um, doing something uh, like this. Um, and yeah, there was also this moment uh, with uh, Kiluha and uh, how he was, like, revealing that he was, um, like, he comes from a, a family of assassins. Um, and he was... Um, as far as I understood, he was saying that he killed um, his... Um, I mean, I don't know if killed, like, he, he, I think he just mentioned stabbed. So it, it's like he stabbed his uh, mother's face um, and also his brother's... Um, I don't know if, like, um, his uh, body or something. I, I'm not too sure of where it was. Uh, but either way, that was uh, really, like, extreme. So for him to uh, end up doing something like that... Uh, that's uh, quite something. So I wonder, and um, I don't believe that they like that uh, they're actually dead, since he was talking about them uh, uh, like chasing after him or something, or like um, I'm not too sure. But it's uh, something uh, worth rewatching, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it already implies that um, Kilua can be quite dangerous. Um, and uh, I mean that scene that played afterwards with him killing those two guys. Uh, that just gives more, um, like more. Um, reasons for me to think this, like, that is really uh, dangerous when uh, people piss him off, so uh, it's, um, like, um, it's going to be interesting to see what um, what will end up happening, like, uh, related to, to him, like, this is completely uh, new, um, and um, also that thing about uh, how he decided to back away from that, um, from that game, because he was, like, feeling that... Um, you would you would end up um, like killing that um, chairman. So I don't know if uh, you would be able to do something like that, but to to see that uh, you would that that was crossing his mind that he would uh, end up at least trying to do it. Um, that is quite something. So it's um, like it's it's not really a good idea to uh, trigger kill her. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, in the end really interesting to learn more about uh, all of these characters and it just makes me wonder a lot about uh, um, what uh, they will end up uh, doing. Like, uh, uh, it's um, like I'm starting to, to like um, understand that, uh, not understand, but I can't find, uh, find the right words. Um, but it's like um, I was not expecting there to be so many people dying right off the bat. So there's already a lot of these um, participants um, like staying behind and uh, some of them even dying. So that is um, really, like, I guess, uh, extreme. So I was not uh, prepared for that, um, for that uh, specific uh, detail. Um, but yeah, that's basically a warning and uh, like telling me that I should be uh, maybe a bit more prepared for what could uh, end up um, happening uh, afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious to see what's um, going to happen during this third phase. I'm assuming that uh, it's going to start maybe during this next episode. Um, but I'm not too sure about that, since the chairman was asking the pilot to slow down. So, like, 
basically saying that uh, he wants to spend um, a bit more time with Gon, like he, he saw something on him, so uh, of course uh, he would be um, interested. Um, so yeah, really can't wait to um, watch uh, this uh, next episode. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.